Ah, yes, another beautiful day in Oasis. A oh, little bit of pollution up over the sky over there, but I think we're mostly doing okay. I have been, uh, oh, some more over there. Well, that's why we're here today. I've been out of commission, my friends, for a little while due to a uh, pretty major flare-up in uh, my tendonitis in my wrists. So I have not been able to come on and do my job on this server. And it's time to catch up. It's time to do some catching up. Uh, let's head to the warehouse first. Now this is my uh, absolute immersive mod pack made by fellow simpleton 47 mark 4 is my absolute immersive patron server. Um, and we're in the town of Oasis, which is the, the center of the uh, the city here. So this is the requisitions office. And it looks like we do have a requisition by ex student Burr. And he's got one requisition token in here. Let's see what the request is. Pack dice as much as you can give me. Well, that is very doable. That is not the first request for packed ice we've had, and I will be able to go and fill that. Let's, uh, let's also check in with the land registry office. We've had some new players join, and I don't know if they have actually officially claimed their plots or, uh, or what the deal is with that, so let's go take a look. Land requisition office, beautiful building here as well. I love the maps and the walls. That's, uh, that's the entire server right there. <laughs> 800 by 800 server. Well, I just do land claims. No new claims. Okay. Um, there were a couple that were made the last time I was on, but I don't know if they've been actually logged. I don't think so. No, they have not been logged yet, so I may need to do that at some point. Drop them down here. Yeah, we've got Drist and uh, Barlock need to be added to the map. Um, that's something we can do later. Don't need to do that right now. Uh, I'm going to head over to the post office. And see if we can get these requisitions filled. Man, you know, I, I never get tired of looking at our post office. This 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 whole this whole city, uh, I, I will be doing a tour of the whole city pretty soon. Uh, and just kind of giving credit to all the different people who've built all these amazing buildings. I didn't do this, folks. I, I wish that I could take credit for this stuff, but I can't. Let's check my mail here. Oh, I've got some stuff. Free sample. Stand open near lower. It looks like it's been cut off, but probably down in the bottom there. I will actually take- I don't have any food. I'll take that and freebies from Kraft Foods. Behind warehouse. We'll have to go and check that out. East side behind warehouse. Okay. I don't mind that. Uh, now this is X students Where's his mailbox? Yeah, his mailbox is here. Okay. Uh, so I've gone ahead and grabbed the pack ice from the warehouse. Um, and of course, we do like to leave a note. Come back here. Uh, this is the one. Request approved note. Drop one of those in there. Request approved. Have a nice day. So uh, there's the packed ice, and then we'll we'll put the, uh, the requisition token away in the secret supply. And of course, that book will have to go be put on the shelf in my office, which is the next stop on the list anyway. So we're going to the health and safety office. And uh, today's finally the day of the first inspections. People have been playing for a while, they've been building some machines, and we need to go and do a health and safety inspection. So, uh, put away the, uh, the orders. Just drop that in there with the other ones there. And uh, I've already got my, uh, my respirator. Just in case we get to an area with a lot of pollution, I want to have my respirator. And there's another thing I want to grab from the safety office. Which is just in here. I don't know why there's chicken heads everywhere. I suspect jam, because I always suspect jam. Uh, here we go. Faraday armor. This will, I believe this will keep us from getting electrocuted. In the case of, uh, in the case of exposed wires. Because you know, the, the health and safety inspectors gotta be careful. Well, let's, uh, let's, let's pop into the... Welcome center, just see if there's anything new over there. Now I had left a job last time, which I think has been completed now. And that was to make roads and pathways connecting up all of the places. So we get some notes here. Bill Post will be prosecuted. Vote for Godzilla. Uh, okay, so this, this yeah, I believe it was uh, Knocked Flame, took that one. River roads now open, boat travel via any river. So that'll probably be it. So... Um, I believe the entrance to that is down below where the park is, so that's good. It's a blazing spider spawner at Phoenix Shipping for all to use, so that's very nice. Cool. All right, um, so i tell you what, folks. Make sure we're attuned to that. I think I'm attuned to that. I put it down. Did that work? It doesn't say... I, I don't know how those work. <laughs> Server's not that big. We can walk if we need to. 
Um, okay, so behind the warehouse, let's go and check out this, this food place. And then uh, I've got a couple other things I need to check out in the city. And then we can finally head out and do our first inspections. Hmm. Um, this is, uh, this chicken over here. Now, I mean, this, this chicken is not an official, officially commissioned sculpture by the city of Oasis. This was, this was done on a certain someone's own, own terms, but, uh, does appear to have a mustache now. Okay, well, we'll just leave that for now. I think this is the place. Future home of Craft Feuds Distribution Center. Did I say feuds? Craft Foods Distribution Center. Elocution. There we go. Temporary setup for early game feeding of the masses. Please take as needed and leave the crates. Oh, look at this. Rice soup. More rice soup. A lot of rice soup. Some bread. Seed soup. And seed soup. Cool. I will, um... I'll grab some seed soup. Thank you, thank you very much. I will take some of that. I don't, I don't have a, ho I don't have a home yet. I'm just kind of living in the bureaucratic buildings in the city. Um, oh, I really am in love with this city, though. Creating the city was a really fun project. Uh, I got some. I, I invited the patrons, basically my patrons, to uh, to join pre-launch, pre-formal launch of the server, in creative mode, and we get to do some creative building. It's the first time we've done that as a group, and it it was really great. This is my work right here. I'm pretty proud of this. I did all these little, these little walls. Um, put some parrots in there. But the dang things tend to just cluster near the bottom. And they don't fly around like I wanted them to. The jerks. Uh, this is also... Just give me a, a second here. Almost there. Oh boy. It, it, takes a, it takes a while to get up here. There is a nice view from up here. Once you finally get up here. And then of course... This also functions as a little water slide. Whee! Was it worth it? Was it worth climbing up here? I don't know. It's fun though. Um, okay, sit down here. We're all, there's another shop down here we wanted to check out. I don't think this is I think this is Barlock's house. Barlock? Yeah, Barlock James. Uh, Barlock is one of the Sopranians. That is uh, patrons of Saffron, mm -hmm. who is, uh, is a friend of mine, also a content creator and a very good person. And uh, so his his patrons are also allowed to play on my servers, and my my higher level patrons are allowed to play on his servers. And Barlock is kind of like the builder, right? Like there's a lot of people who are good at building, but Barlock has a special talent, and just everything he creates is amazing. Um, yeah, here we go. Here's a little a little stand, and it's the other Melinda. The other Melinda is the one who created that post office up there, by the way. So we've got fish and chips, fish and chips, reinforced hemp fabric. I don't see any price. Is there a price? I, th I thought I stopped by here before and there was a price. People are definitely allowed to, to set up shops, by the way. Allowed and encouraged. All right, now I've been told that I need to check out the statues over... over here. Uh-huh. Mm-hmm. Yep. All right. Uh, yep. Yeah. Okay, we have a vandal on the loose in Oasis. Um... So I'm gonna have to add another job up in the uh, up in the welcome center for people. Somebody needs to track down the vandal and get these mustaches taken care of. Uh, <sighs> man, I mean, to be fair, I do think I pull it off. That's me, right? If I if I stand here, oh, do I have the Faraday armor? Okay, let's take take the helmet off. Oh my goodness, his armor is bulky. Yeah? Okay, so that's me. My cute little face. My cute little my cute little girly face. And then that's me with the mustache. I gotta admit, I, I don't hate it. I don't hate the mustache. <laughs> okay. Let's go through the park, and I believe this is where the river road landing is. Yes. Okay. We've got some boats. And... Can I... Can I... There we go. Uh, I need to go off. I've got my I've got my notepads, right? Okay, I've got my clipboards, and it's time to go do our first inspections. So we're gonna take the river road. It's a little bit it's a little bit tough to navigate. Ooh, these are the dungeons that are below the city. Very cool. And uh, I know there are several bases in this direction over in this area. So we're gonna go. We're just gonna do just our our first health and safety inspection. 
make sure that there's not a massive amount of pollution, make sure that there's not any major safety concerns, uh, and uh, leave the reviews on people's, uh, people's mailboxes. All right, so this, I believe this is the other Melinda's base. Let's hop out of the boat. Up. What we got here? Some building materials. Okay, none of my business. Uh, yes, this is the other Melinda's base. It's very pretty. Let's just uh, take a quick look around. We just got some supplies here. Um, mob drops. Oh, someone's been to the nether. Someone has been to the nether. It's a little bit cramped in here, but I don't see any serious problems. That's to the beneath. I'm not going there. No thank you. Okay, B stuff. Alright, I don't see any issues in here. Zombie head is a little a little off-putting, but it's not a safety concern. As long as it's not attached to a zombie anymore, which it does not appear to be. Okay, uh, we've got a coke oven, which is not running at the moment, but it's got a filter on the top of it, so that is okay. I don't see- I see one block of pollution over this area, and that's fine. We've got some industrial hemp growing, very nice. Uh, another portal, and... I think that's it for this actual base. We've got some traps. That's all fine. That's within regulations. Uh, and I think this road just leads over towards uh, the other bases. Yeah, okay. So we'll, we're going to be heading over that way later. All right, um, the other Melinda. I think you have passed your health and safety inspection. Uh, hold, hold, hold on a second. Hold, hold on a second. What do we got? Uh, what's this? Oh, no. No, 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 no. Nope. No, um, we've got, uh, we've got, a, an animal cruelty situation here. Uh, this is too, this is too many chickens. That's one, two, three, four, five chickens, it looks like. And I think everybody knows that the legal maximum of chickens to squeeze into a single square is four. So we are going to have to write up, uh, the other Melinda. So the other Melinda, um, uh, one violation... Five chickens. There we go. So please provide one square meter per four chickens by the next inspection. Okay. That is going to be going in the other Melinda's mailbox. Uh, I will sign these before I put them in their mailbox, but I just want to do another quick check, make sure we've got everything. I think we've got everything else. I think that's the only issue. Uh, to be honest, it's a very minor violation. Um, it's, it's not like she's got a hundred chickens in there. She's just got five. So... Just, just give them a little more space by the next inspection, and everything will be fine. Okay, uh, water filter, yeah, okay, this all looks fine. This all looks fine. The other Melinda, you have pretty much passed your safety inspection, you just got one thing that I need you to fix up. By the next inspection, whenever that is. <laughs> okay, we've got signs on the river road. Phoenix shipping that way, Dudek Industries that way. We're gonna hit Dudek Industries first because, uh, it's a smaller base. Now, Phoenix Shipping is the Sopranians. That is, uh, the, pretty much all of the people from Safram's, uh, group are all working together. My, my patrons tend to, they're loners, you know? They tend to split off and do their own thing. And as a result, they have smaller bases, and sometimes some of them will, will go crazy and get tons and tons of progress all at once, but most often they're going a little bit slower than the others, because the others are working together as a team. Maybe, maybe my people will learn something from this. I do like this path. This path is nice. Uh, I'm part of this inspection. Turkeys! <laughs> I grew up in a place with wild turkeys, so it's fun to see them in Minecraft. Um, so part of this inspection is to inspect the bases, and part of it is also to check out these roads and paths and make sure that they're all set so that we can pay Nachtflame his, uh, his fee for completing this uh, this task for the city. Future home of Dudek Industries. Looks like it's the current home of Dudek Industries, if we're perfectly honest. Let's come on in here. All right, what have we got? We've got some turkeys and some chickens, and that does appear to be enough space for all those animals, so that is fine. Um, we've got another portal. Again, I'm not, I'm not going there. Aha, okay. So because I placed the other one, I think it was already discovered. So now I've discovered Dudek Industries. Uh, we'll get the door over here. Okay, come on in. Oh, this is a nice little kitchen. And we've got a doggy. We've got a pupper. A wolf. Begging strips. Aww. Alright, uh, we do have to, as the health inspector, I have to inspect. There's no roof on this building. So this dog is getting rained on. Uh, let's... Let's, uh, Dudek Industries. 
Okay, we've got a dog exposed to the elements. Um, we got to check out the kitchen here and make sure everything's set up. So we've got meat in the fridge, meat and fish. That's good. Got a water. Um, got some cupboards, vegetables in here. Um, all right, we do have some meat here next to the fruit, but they do appear to be dried bagging strips for the dog. So I think that's okay. And what do we got up here? We've got some plants. Vegetables, produce. Okay, so we do have uh, meat stored safely in the refrigerator. Fruits and vegetables stored safely out here. Um, there is an oven, and I do see that there is a filter for the oven, so that's good. This room appears to be unused as of yet. I do see a trap door here. Let's check out the basement. Oh, goodness. Yeah, okay, okay. We do need to check this out. Um, what have we got in here? Building materials, resources. This is all fine. Um... Soybeans, okay. Yep, that all looks okay. Everything's stored safely. Uh, blast furnace and a coke oven. And I do see that we've got the uh, the vents up here to catch all the pollution. So the air in here is clean and safe. We've got wires, and these do appear to be um, the uh, insulated wires. So they should be safe. I, I think those are insulated wires. So they should be safe. Um... Yeah, this all, this all looks okay to me. This all looks okay to me. And I love the green power. We've got green power, we've got water power. So that's super. Okay, fantastic. Uh, let's just go take a quick peek around, see if there's anything else that needs inspecting here at Dudek Industries. Goodness, it's getting late in the day as well. You have this mod that makes the days longer. But, uh... Oh, no, no, and it's raining. There's, uh... Another tweak here that... Oh, goodness, it's lagging me out a little bit. Uh, we can't sleep through the night, which means we can't sleep the rain away. I'm really hoping that somebody will eventually make a weather control machine to stop the rain. Now, I, I would have stopped here because this looks like the whole base, but I have visited this base before when Mr. Galen was online, and he showed me the entrance to his mine, which is back here right against the world border. So we are going to have to check this out in here. Okay. Um, now, we do have a slave who is crammed into a tiny little space here to sell vegetables and produce and seeds and things. Uh, emerald, emerald muncher. Um, uh, slaves do need a little bit more space than this by law. So uh, we're gonna have to add that to the list. Okay. Um, just take a quick peek around. Oh goodness, it's a thunderstorm. So we've just got some some kind of random drops and stuff. This is all okay. None of this is a uh, health hazard, I don't think. And uh, okay, um, we do have a box of corpses here. Um, that is that is going to be a violation. Um, uh, corpses stored without refrigeration. Uh, those those corpses need to be put into a refrigerator for sure. That's 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 just basic uh, health health code. Uh, now this appears to be going down into a mine. Now fortunately mines are outside of my jurisdiction. Um, it would take forever and ever and ever to explore all the mines and caves and stuff. So we're not going to go down there. Um, I am going to have I'm going to eat one of my free samples from Kraft Foods. Mmm, that's not bad. That is not bad. Um, and then I think it's about time to move on to the next place, but I really don't want to travel in this. And also we've got mobs uh, spawning outside, so I'm gonna I'm gonna hunker down and hide out until this passes. I'll be I'll be back after this. Okay, I think the sun is up, certainly rising, and I see hurt numbers coming off of all of those monsters. There were a lot of monsters out here at night, folks. Uh, and they are now burning up at the sun. Hello, googly-eyed sheep. How you doing? Um, I do think we can be done with the Dudek Industries book. And we are going to head to... Is it Phoenix Industries? Um, but I am a little worried about these monsters. Let's make sure they all actually die so we don't get blindsided. There are really difficult mobs in this pack. This pack is uh, it's not its not an easy one. Okay, it looks like... I think we're okay. I think we're safe. We can come out here. You can come after me? Yeah. Oh my goodness. There we go. Took care of you. Um, 
yeah, like some of some of these some of these little guys are, are are living for a long time. I think we're all set. I think it's safe. We can head back out. Um, let's uh, put these bones and rotten flesh away. Keep them away from my food. Put them in my other pocket. I've got my food in my right pocket, and I've got the uh, the pieces of corpses in my left pocket. So that is all in accordance with health and safety measures. We we, we care very much about health and safety standards here on this server. Uh, so now we're going to head over to Phoenix Industries, and uh, they're kind of across the lake over here, I think. And they've got a big base, because this is actually a collection of a whole bunch of players. As I have said, uh, Sopranians, which are our uh, Saffram's, Saffram's patrons. And so they've been working together, and they've got a real big base with all kinds of complicated stuff in it. So this is going to be, oh, excuse me, excuse me, squid, excuse me, squid, thank you. Uh, this is going to be a much more complicated uh, inspection, I think. They're just over here, yeah, okay. Man, these boats, I swear I remember these boats being less difficult to handle. <laughs> but apparently not so. Alright, so in the distance we can see the, uh, the little ship. That's because Pirate of Old is here, and Pirate has got to have a pirate ship. That is just uh, basics right there. Absolute basics. Okay, so we're coming up. Oh, yes, there's a lot loading in here. Oh my goodness. Yeah, and I do see a little bit of pollution over there uh, Let's we want to be inside the wall. Let's just come over here and hop out of the boat Okay we'll Let the game load in a little bit. So first of all, we're gonna take a quick look at this ship make sure this is all in order and uh, I think yeah, I think it's just a just a pretty basic wooden ship very nice looking very attractive Got the wheel here. Oh, uh, yeah. Okay, so the ship is okay. Ship is okay. There's a platform up here. I'm not sure what it's for. Maybe not designated yet. Um, but it looks alright. It's not up too high, so it's okay that there's no railings around it. Let's take a look at the animals. Need to look at the animals. And we have a rainbow of sheep, which I do appreciate. Oh, goodness. Server, server just saved the world, so we had a little bit of a lag spike there. Okay, we're all right now. Uh, rainbow sheep, they have plenty of space. This is fine. Uh, we got some flowers here, cows, pigs. It looks like there is enough space for all the animals, so that's all fine. Now let's take a look. They've got their apiaries. Very nice. Plenty of honey. And oh, I love this. I love this very much. Stone. Earthware, slate and marble, gravel and sand, more granite. Um, very well labeled chests, and I feel like, uh, based on what I've already seen, just do a couple of random inspections. Um, yeah, I, I don't think I need to check every one of those boxes. I think they're all okay. We've got decorative building stuff right here, and uh, oh my goodness, we've got some stuff to look forward to. I believe this is the kitchen. Whoa! Okay, it is a little bit cramped in here. It is a little bit cramped, but there is enough walking space. I see there's two blocks of walking space everywhere, so that's okay. Flora and fauna, mob drops, villagers and... Okay. No, alright, so... Phoenix Industries, we've got the same issue uh, as before. Uh, corpses stored without refrigeration. Got to get those corpses in refrigerators, folks. They're gonna. This, I mean, it smells terrible. I opened that box and it just slapped me across the face. We don't like that. Um, so yeah, I think generally speaking, we don't need to check everything. Just kind of <laughs> WTF chest other crap. Okay. Yeah. All right. All this is fine. Materials. Uh, paper books, manuals, yeah, that checks out. Um, I mean, everything's very well labeled, very well organized. The, the kitchen is beautiful, and oh my goodness, look at this! All food in here, take everything, be selfish, I can make more. I mean, I'm not gonna say no. What do we got in here? We got chicken dinner, carrot, oh, I like carrot, I'm gonna take a carrot cake. I was specifically instructed, thankful dinner, to take whatever I want. Um, they do appear to have, ooh, hot wings. Ooh, I do love me some spice. Korean dinner. I mean, I don't want to take, like, uh, stacks of things or anything like that, but corned beef breakfast. Oh! Oh, I can't remember the last time I had corned beef. They don't have it in this country where I live. They don't have corned beef. You can get it frozen, but it's very poor quality. Jellied eel, no thank you. Okay. Um, this is gorgeous. What have we got in here? We've got sauces and condiments. Fish, vegetables, meat. Um, we've got eggs in a basket. This is, this is all lovely. Look at this bread basket full of baked goods. 
cinnamon bread. Oh my goodness. I love Pam's Harvest Craft, folks. I absolutely love it. This is this is all spectacular. Um, and very well organized. Very well organized. Uh, I don't see any violations here. I don't see anything that would be a health or safety concern. It, uh, there is a fish in the sink, but I do think that comes pre-installed, and it's just a it's just a rubber fish, so that's all fine. Um, we do have for the ovens. We've got some vents, and I do believe I saw outside. I saw uh, a filter, so that's all fine. Look at this garden! Oh my God, this greenhouse is beautiful. I love it, and everything's labeled. I mean, this is the most well organized base I've ever seen. There are snails, uh, but they are named, so I think. Think these are supposed to be here? I'm not sure. I mean, I, in my experience, I don't want snails in my garden. That's me personally. Um, but I don't want to judge. I don't want to judge these folks if they haven't keeping snails as pets in their garden. As long as the produce is all thoroughly washed before it's eaten, and it does look like that is happening, so I am fine with that. This is spectacular. Oh my goodness. This is why we let the Sopranians play on my servers. You know, <laughs> they set the bar real high, and then we all have to work hard to catch up. All right, now we do need to go into this industrial area over here. Um, that area right there, I do see some pollution, but it appears to be outside of the world border, so I'm not even sure how that's happening. Um, let's go in here first. So we've got Phoenix Shipping, Industry Building, Warning, Safety Gear to be Worn Beyond This Point. Okay, now I appreciate that. That is well-indicated signs. I am wearing my Faraday suit, so I should be fine. Uh, what does it say here? Go to the back of the building. <laughs> um, I will. Am I on time? Golden back here. Look at this. They've got uh, vacuum bags for cleaning up pollution, for cleaning up silver pollution. That is super. Now let's take a walk around. I like that we have the uh, the yellow and black warnings around the dangerous blocks. Everything seems to be well organized and labeled. Now I'm not sure if these are insulated cables or not. It's kind of hard to. I mean, I feel like they look insulated, but I'm not 100% sure. Uh, but in any case, there is a warning that you have to war wear safety equipment at all times in here. So even if they're not insulated, and it, look at that, they even have a Faraday suit here. That's that's super. Just kind of poke around a little bit. Um, this is this is quite a building, yeah. Like this this right here, magma chimney, and they've got filters. Um, yeah, this looks this looks insulated to me. I think I'm wearing my Faraday suit, so I probably wouldn't get zapped by it, even if it's not. Auto crafter question. Okay, looks like they're planning. But yeah, we've got this is obviously a dangerous machine. Whoop, which disappears because it's an entity when I look to the side. Uh, but it's got these warning blocks around it, which is super. And the path through is clearly marked, the safe pack through. Um, now this could use to be covered up. It looks like they're they're doing something down here. Um, but I'm not gonna write them up for that because in general they really are complying very well with all of the health and safety standards. So spawners this way. Uh, oh yes, you remember at the at Oasis there was a um, a notification that they have spawners here. Look at this automated blaze spawner and lever for lights. Yep, to turn the lights off. Looks like there's caves through there. Again, that's outside of my jurisdiction. I don't have to worry about that. Um, just very well made, very well made base. And we've got two ladders. Looks like this ladder goes up onto the catwalks. On the catwalk. Yep, yeah, on the catwalk. Um, again, I, I, I don't know the wires well enough to know if that's insulated or not, but as long as they have clearly displayed that you need to be wearing safety gear, and they have the safety gear available, which they do down there, um, that's actually fine. So they have access to everything up here via catwalks, which is great. Come back down here, and, uh, we've got this other ladder going up here. And we've got more machines. My goodness. My goodness, they're effectively. I look up, folks. I look up, and I don't see pollution. I don't see pollution, actually. Um, yeah, I'm, 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 this, is, this is good. Solar reflectors. Solar tower. Oh, is this how they're getting their power? See, everybody's got green power. It's spectacular. You even get a helicopter pad right here. Uh, yeah, I am... This, uh, this is all approved right here. Nothing to write them up for. Head all the way up, all the way up here, and they've got a windmill tower, which is just fine. More green power, spectacular. And then, I believe uh, Barlock claimed this area here, or it was a couple of people together claiming this area up here, but it looks like they haven't really done much with it yet. Owner Barlock, yes. 
So, it looks like, um, just the village is all lit up. I don't see any pollution overhead. I'm going to go ahead and say this is fine. They have a safety wall around the edge. A very pretty one, because of course it's pretty. <laughs> and the way out there. So, I'm going to head back down. There was one more building here at Phoenix Shipping. Which, uh, needed a quick inspection. And they have auto-closing doors. Always good. And this is just a very safe ladder. There's, like, these fences all the way around the outside. Um, I'm impressed. I was, I'll be honest with you folks. I was expecting to come in here and find violations all over the place. But, not so. Not so. Uh, well done, Phoenix Shipping. We've complied very well uh, with the laws. Distillation tower with the regulations. Here's their waste stone. Um, welcome to Phoenix Shipping. Spawners in a big green building at the back down Granite Hallway. Look at that. And they've got signs set up for the other uh, the other bases around. And we've got some green power. They've got lots of green power. I'm so happy to see all the green power on the server in general. Now see, now this this is how you this is how you keep your slave. Your slave needs access to fresh air. Weathered salesperson. <laughs> Exposed to the weather, maybe. Um, got a roof over their head, but uh, they are not confined in a small room. So uh, if if the CEO of Dudek Industries happens to be watching. Something like this would be a little bit more appropriate than we have going on now. Let's just take one peek inside this building, which appears to be empty. I do like the blocks that it's made out of. It's a very cool looking building. I feel like this looks like an area that's being planned for something. And... Oop. Yeah, okay, we've got open computer stuff in here. So presumably this, is, this building is going to be used for uh, open computer stuff. As of right now, certainly nothing to write them up for, nothing to worry about. This is just an empty building, and it's a pretty one. So nice work. Um, I think that's it for Phoenix Shipping. I, I think I think we did it. I think they did a great job. Um, there are a couple more bases that I want to take quick peeks at. And uh, then we can go and do a tour of the city.